Okay guys, I found a couple issues uh, with my Chase 360 uh, swash plate and I believe uh, a few other guys are having the same problems. I did find a partial remedy to improve it. Uh, it's not 100% but I'll uh, show you those changes. Okay, the first problem is with this uh, swivel bearing. This is actually brand new. It's not even been on the helicopter yet. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see here the ball is quite loose in the outer race. Uh, this is just, uh, it, it's, it's just not acceptable. You're going to get a lot of play and wobble with the uh, swash plate. Now I was able to find a replacement bearing. Um, I wasn't sure if it would fit or not, but this is actually off a Goblin 380 swash plate and it is exactly the same size and it fits right in this swash plate. Um, this one here made by Saab it's a lot more precise uh, it's, it's smooth and absolutely there's no play at all. I'm gonna put this in this is gonna work a lot better. The other issue uh, with this swash plate is this uh, bearing, this outer ring bearing here uh, the bearing itself is not that precise. Um, I notice there's a bit of slop uh, when you move the uh, two pieces uh, apart. There's a bit of play there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's it's the bearing itself. And um, because of the way it's manufactured, there's no way of uh, replacing the bearing. This uh, this inner ring, this red piece here, is uh, it appears to be stamped or uh, punched over. So there's no way of um, changing that so from now on, I just I'm just gonna have to live with it